This is a vaccine. It helps us fight viruses that makes us sick. For centuries, smallpox killed millions around the world. In May 1796, Edward Jenner, a physician from England, created the world's first vaccine. James Phipp, an 8-year-old, received the first smallpox vaccine. But despite suffering a local reaction and feeling unwell for several days, James recovered. Since then, humans have used vaccines to protect against deadly diseases. Today, vaccines have saved more lives than any other medical invention in history. In December last year, the government of India announced that it will roll out the HPV vaccine or human papilloma virus vaccine for girls aged between 9 and 14 years. This move is seen as a game changer that can save lives of millions of women in the country. So what is the HPV vaccine and how important is it? In simple terms, cancer is a disease in which cells in the body grow out of control. When cancer starts in the cervix, it causes cervical cancer. In India, one woman is killed every 8 minutes due to cervical cancer. Globally, cervical cancer is the second most common cancer type and India accounts for one-fifth of the global cases. And even though cervical cancer is preventable, it kills 67,000 women per year in India alone. There is little awareness about this cancer and less than 10% of Indian women get screened. Even though two vaccines are available in India since 2018, they were priced between 2000 and 3500, making them out of reach for several people. The cost also prevented government programs to adopt the vaccine. A new HPV vaccine called Servovac is to be rolled out by mid-2023 and will be manufactured in India. Ideally, the vaccination should be done at an early age. The government has also cleared Servovac for use in universal immunization program. A one-time catch-up vaccine will be given to 9-14 to year old girls. State and union territories will organize HPV vaccination schools and identify a nodal person in each school to look after the vaccination. For girls who do not attend schools, the vaccines will be given through community outreach and mobile health teams. Once the vaccine is launched through the universal immunization program, it should reach the maximum number of the targeted population. The surveillance systems and infrastructure used for COVID-19 vaccination may also be customized to improve HPV vaccination and monitor national cervical screening programs.